Military readiness is our number one priority for Triple R Medical Center. The Department of Clinical Investigation is making sure that we have a ready medical force. All I've ever wanted to do is be on the front lines with the soldiers and they're an available uh, to help. Taking care of soldiers is pretty much what we do. What we're preparing for now is large-scale combat operations. We're getting our IV started. Okay, breath sounds on the right are clear. Penetrating okay. injuries, um, blast injuries, um, you can have near drownings, um, chemical injuries. Virtually anything that you can think of happening happens downrange. You're going to see longer linear distances than we've ever known between point of injury to definitive care. It's important for us to equip those healthcare providers who have to go out there with the latest technologies and devices and diagnostic tools. Research follows right in with trauma. We want to be able to, at the basic science level, know what's happening uh, with injury so that we can intervene to prolong life. Because we have research opportunities that run the full gamut from lab bench to clinical hospital care to field care applications, we are able to do goal-directed research to provide solutions for our medics and trauma team healthcare providers that are practical and applicable. The applied part of it, I, I've, I've got a real appreciation of that, um, coming here to, to Tripler and uh, doing research here. Right now we're studying things like prolonged field care, so what's the best way to resuscitate somebody with the right types of blood products or blood substitutes? Um, we have uh, wound care strategies where if you prepare the wound a certain way in the field, it's more likely to not have tissue damage for faster recovery. There are things that you can do after a traumatic brain injury to try to um, stabilize somebody before they come back. With um, global health engagement, along with that comes uh, disease surveillance. For example, you know when the COVID-19 uh, infection broke out, being involved in the basic science aspects of being able to run a diagnostic test is really important and to be able to help with the disease prevention. And so to be at the forefront of infectious disease is also something that's really important that we're involved with at Triple Army Medical Center. Simulation is, to me, where we bridge the gap between the repetitions of clinical practice and the repetitions of where we truly hone our skills to get really good at what we're doing. I'm going to perform a needle decompression. So here we're able to work on individual skills, whether it be something as simple as suturing, to advanced laparoscopic trainers, to robotic trainers. Um, we're able to practice um, doing certain types of dressings and splints. So all types of individual skills can be practiced here. Liver and right kidney. Better training um, may have to do with a high repetition training. We don't quite know that yet. So there actually isn't you know, a huge body of knowledge uh, telling us what is the optimal number of repetitions that a person has to do to acquire or be an expert in um, a procedure. And so that's part of the research that we're doing. We have the advantage of getting immediate feedback from the medics and the healthcare providers to help accelerate our science to make sure that we're advancing trauma care um, for the military. Our reality is to bring the right team to the right place at the right time. The, the, the situations are endless. So what you want to provide them with are the basic tools to allow them to be adaptable to any situation. I've done surgery in a blown out building with a light strapped to my head on a, with an injured patient on a stretcher. It's the reality of what we do. There's no other job I'd have in the Army. There's nothing I'd rather do uh, being an, an enlisted combat medic in the United States Army. It's nothing more fulfilling and rewarding than to see that solution that you've discovered be put to action, as well as the fact that they're supporting the men and women in the field um, who are putting their lives out there for us every day.